what are they dealing with at home? And I, I think that's, that's so important. And it's amazing to hear that, um, coming from a man who's, who's coached probably thousands of, yeah. of young men, yeah. um, and, and knowing the stories. And I, I'm, I'm super impressed how, you know, all these names mm-hmm. <laughs> from all these schools, well, even the security guards, <laughs> you know? those I are mean, my guys. Yeah, the guy way, I'm, sure. guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. But, but it, it is a testament to you. You talk about like Tamika Williams and, and all these, these special players and how they were put in your lap. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would guarantee if they were sitting here today, yeah. they would say the same thing about you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that you were put in their lap. It's an opportunity. You know, the rewards are great. One thing about coaching is sometimes you get a little more credit than you deserve. You know, you know, you think about social workers and you think about people that are doing those kind of jobs. You know, I was winning football games, you know, and so, you know, a lot of self reward out of that. So, but it's a great profession, but it's an opportunity. You know, if all you want to do is win football games, you're missing that opportunity to have those relationships and that, that, that you had then, and you continue to have, you know, yeah. those kids stay in contact with you and all that stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. That's fun. Well, as we try to land this plane, which I hate to do, yep. I'd like to, we could probably go on oh, for a couple great. hours here. Um, do you have any closing thoughts or words of wisdom or advice? 